Hello and welcome to another episode of Alsu. Today I'm going to take you through some of the thinking of the brightest minds of BMC Software. We will share with you what excites them. That are giving the ability for people to take something like ticket management and problem management and adopt it in an organization of 25 people rather quickly. So the cloud was really a catalyst in democratizing the cloud. Exactly. It is important. It is important because ITAM tends to, I think, have an unfairly low profile in organizations. It's not always the hottest topic. It's not you know, that the tools that we use in ITAM are not always the, the the stuff that gets all the marketing the market attention and the the analyst attention and the media's attention. This whole thing with big data. Are the offerings in play? Uh, Around big data, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think, thanks to the commoditizing effect of, of cloud services and, and um, centralization and online services to do some of those analytics, you know, we are consuming some of the same technologies that, that you would find in the US, right? The sort of um, always consuming services that are hosted in the US. Um, in fact, um, a very famous case of us consuming a lot of data from the big data from a certain uh, security agency in the US and passing big data to our security agency. So um, yes, it's a very hot, um, very hot topic. Let, let me say this, mobility is, as we all know, huge in many of the, these countries, especially as you mentioned, both uh, Southeast Asia and in Australia, New Zealand area. How do companies manage that proliferation of devices? Uh, I think, uh, Alf, at the end of the day, when you, when you talk about managing those devices, well, what, what they do, they sort of put policies in places, make sure they get the right security software and things like that to prevent hacking and things like that. But uh, it, it's sort of exploded, and I think it's almost like, if you think about it in the past, there, there's so many back doors into organizations today uh, through uh, social and, and mobile means and so forth. Today we're going to talk about workload automation. In the travel industry, every time I book a plane, although it's on one of these cute websites, at the end of the day it goes through one of the major pipes and Amadeo is in one of those systems. They too use workload automation. Well, yeah. Uh... I mean, in the case, Amadeus happens to use Control-M, so we obviously use them as an example, but every operator of a reservation system is using some version or flavor of, ver of workload automation. The thing that is, yeah, especially after 9-11, that's particularly interesting. Nowadays, any plane that has to land in the U.S., uh, the passenger manifest has to be sent to Homeland Security or TSA before the plane can leave the ground. I don't know if you've ever been, I, I, was, uh, I actually had the experience of being on a plane once and somebody, um, the plane was almost ready to leave and eventually they had to take somebody off. Um, they never explained why, but I suspect it might have been because this person was either some questionable character or what, I don't know. But uh, no, the no, way that talking, happened... You're talking about when they took me off when we came over from Vegas last year. No, no, let, let them know. <laughs> no, 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 what happens in Vegas, you know, definitely stays in Vegas, so that's not an issue. There's the cloud, there's mobility, there's gamification, there's a social this, social that. What, what excites you right now about IT? What is it that, that when you read it or talk about it gets your heart pumping? Well, First of all, the, just the fact that there is so much innovation right now excites me. I mean, they, they, we used to think that service desk, um, you know, is an area that is stable. It's, it's actually were... hard to keep up with, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah, really no, it's... hard to keep up with all of the things that are going on in the world right now around innovation. I admit I'm a TED junkie and I'm watching a TED video every day and learning something new and uh, growing concerned about new things and being excited about new things because there's so much going on right now. I'm particularly excited about our space ITSM because I do see us moving out of kind of the staid old business to business mentality and, and being more open to things that are happening on the consumer side of the world. I must admit, I'm an online gamer. Um, I think we still have about 10 years, you know, in just my opinion, uh, where money actually still makes a huge difference. They need clean water, they need money in those villages, they need access to healthcare. But past 10 years, and, and I'll, I'll barely be 54, uh, they, when they have those things, 
I very much see them leapfrogging everything we're doing. Cloud is still actually very important. Cloud, so many customers are looking for a way to improve their quality of service and reduce their costs. What they're finding is moving towards the cloud, so moving towards a SaaS model, is important for them to continue to grow their business. Uh, Kia Bania, our CTO, said companies are stopping, they're, they're not looking at ROI anymore as return on investment. They're looking at ROI as return on innovation. One thing that I admire with your work and one reason I wanted to have you here in the zoo uh, is your ability to simplify the cloud. If you're looking at these type of technology issues from a different perspective, does women approach technology in a different angle than the average Joe? Well, I think so, but I've never been the average guy. Um, <laughs> my perspective is one of Technology is, is, a, is a means to an end for a bunch of human beings, right? And, and so what would make a user happy? What would make an administrator less stressed out? I think one of the things that women bring to bear on technology and technology marketing in specific is a real focus on the, frankly, the emotional state of the buyer. What is it that they need? What will bring them comfort? What, get, what scares them? And similarly for the user. Well, and that, that's an interesting topic uh, that, for example, Sheryl uh, Sandberg over at Facebook has addressed recently in her new book, um, that women to some degree need to band together and they need to put their better foot forward and, and, and take a more proactive role in, in making themselves available in, in the whole company. Um, do you agree with that type of strategy? Uh, absolutely. I, I, in fact, uh, you know, read a lot about uh, lean in and uh, you know both positives as well as negatives. Some people say, if I lean in any more, I'm going to fall. <laughs> Think of Facebook yeah. for the enterprise. Yeah. So this is social networks. These are opportunistic in in how they're organized. They are unstructured in the processes that they follow, and they will quickly form and see little pockets of opportunity and they will take advantage of them and they'll move forwards pretty quickly piece at a time to take advantage of those opportunities and they'll evolve very very quickly you know only if it's making sure the users have everything they need to be able to do their jobs and create business continuity only if you know the adage of well, if we just leave this broken toaster on a workbench long enough, it'll fix itself is not the way people think, you know. Um, it, there is a revolution in how services are being consumed and how the back office needs to industrialize to be able to bring the user into those expectations. Sounds very exciting. Sounds very exciting. Uh, you're sitting in beautiful Vancouver, and I'll be remiss if I don't ask you, will the Canucks make it to the Stanley Cup Finals? Absolutely. No doubt about it in my mind. That's what they say every year. It's like, it's like a lie. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> if I said anything else, I'd never hear the end of it. Uh, good. It was great having you here, Jeff. I really appreciate you taking the time and stop by the zoo.